Hi everyone, it's Tara. So today I want to share with you how I created these tool bead dangles, like the ones that I added to the Chunky Charm that I made for Anna. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Okay, so to make it like this with the pearls, what I did was I got one of these uh, tool sprays from Hobby Lobby, and these can be found in their wedding section. And they come in a bunch like this, so I just pulled one off and um, unraveled the paper. You just sort of take that paper off. Okay. And I already have one that is undone, so I'm going to use that. Okay, so then for the bead cap, I like to use these longer bead caps. And this particular one I got from Pizzazz A Plenty. So you're going to take your bead cap, and sometimes when you're doing the ones with the pearls and the tool, this hole isn't big enough. So just take like one of these uh, tools like this and stick it through the hole and just sort of um, make that hole a little bit bigger. Okay, so then you have your pieces that you unraveled. And so you just take that and stick it through the hole so you'll get something like that okay so then to add the pearls it's a little bit trickier so I kind of let me see if I can zoom in okay so then I just and I can usually only put about two in so I just take the the pearl and stick that through the hole as well and then get another one and let's see and then stick that through can get it. <laughs> um, and you guys, if you don't have a Hobby Lobby or if you don't have access to like these tool sprays that you can get from Hobby Lobby, don't worry because I'm going to show you another way that I think is a little bit easier and it gives you uh, more options. Okay, so then you're just going to pull that tool part back through. And these are both on the same side. I don't really like that, so I'm just going to... Alright, well, whatever. Okay, so then you have that. And then you're going to have these, um, the pieces from the pearl spray sticking out. You don't really need that, so you can just like snip those off. And then you add your bead. So I'm going to use one of these cracked glass beads that I recently got from Dollar Bead. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put that on there like that. And sometimes I like to add a little bead cap on top. So, just put that on there. And then you're just going to do a, a basic wire wrapping technique. So, get your round nose pliers. I'll grab it about there. You want to leave a little bit of space to wrap the wire around. Okay, then you're going to make your loop. Like that. Just pull the wire around and around like that. And then let me zoom out a little bit. And then I just start wrapping it around. 
and you want to try to get close to where the bead is at because you want the wire to hold it in place. And so I just wrap, <clears throat> excuse me, I just wrap that around a couple of times until I feel it's tight enough, and then I'm just going to cut off that excess. get my flat nose pliers and just sort of pinch that little piece that's sticking out and that's it so then you just add your jump ring and you can add it to your projects so really easy all right I'm going to show you another way to do this and so let me get my stuff together and I will be right back Okay, so the other way to make these bead dangles, what you're going to need is some 26 gauge wire, and I use this florist wire, and, see, and some tool, and I buy my tool by the yard at Joann's, so I just sort of like roll it up, and then I'm going to cut off a little piece here, and about that much is probably fine. So I cut the floral wire at, this is about 7 inches, which is more than I need. And so I, then I unravel this tool here. So I just sort of unravel it and then I'm going to fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. like that and okay that's pretty even and then you're gonna feed your wire through the little hole okay twist that wire and for me it's easier to twist it with these chain nose pliers or flat nose pliers whatever and I try to get as close as possible to the where the tool is at when I'm twisting it See that? Okay, and then I trim off the ends here. And I sort of do it like diagonal. And you can make these as long or as short as you like just up to you. So. so that looks pretty good. All right. So then again, I'm going to separate these wires and then snip one part off because I don't need both wires. Okay. This might be a little bit short, this tool, but that's all right. <clears throat> okay, so then you're going to take your bead cap and put your wire through the hole. Okay, and then pull that down like that. So then there you go. And oh wait, before I 
before I put that on, I want to show you. So you guys, this can be, you can stop right here, and this can be like a little embellishment on its own. Okay, so like how cute would that look? Behind a flower. Just, just sort of sticking out behind the flower. I think that's really cute. Hope you can see it. But, yeah, just another idea. Okay, so... Again, I'm going to put your bead cap on. And then you're going to put your bead on. Like so. And then to put a little bead cap on top just to finish it off. You don't have to. So, like that. And then again, you're going to do your basic wire wrap. So you're going to, let's see, grab on. I try to make sure everything's kind of even here. Okay, so you're going to grab onto the wire and leave a little bit um, for the wire to wrap around. And you, I mean, I guess you really don't have to do the wire wrapping. You can just um, do like a, a loop on the end. But I like wire wrapping because I, it ensures that everything is tight and in place. So, just wrap the wire around. Cut off the excess here. Pinch that closed. Oh, sorry. Pinch that closed a little bit. And that is it. So that's your dangle. Now you can use other material too which I have been doing since playing around with this and I really like the way that um, using some other things have been coming out so let me show you that real quick okay so I'm gonna show you a couple different ones that I have completed but first I want to show you this little angel and I thought this was really cute I didn't finish this one off yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this rondelle or not but I just thought this was a really cute way to make like an angel skirt using the same technique. Um, this one I used a smaller bead cap as you can see and then added the the wings and the pearl and then I'm not sure if I'm going to use this rondelle or not but I thought that was really really cute way to make a skirt for an angel. Alright so let me show you the other ones that I've done So these are all tulle, but I just use different beads on these. This is a different bead cap. Um, and I've been asked where I got this style of bead cap, and I got them on eBay. And uh, I'll try to find a seller that sells these, because I got these about two years ago. But I'll try to find a seller, seller that sells these and I'll put it in the description box if I can find one. So here's another one with the pink. Another one pink. There's a couple black ones I did. And then this one, I added a little rondelle first and then added the bead. And okay, so this one I did with lace. I thought it came out really cute. My camera would focus. So that one I did with lace. And then oh, this is the one that we made. Okay, and then I have these here. So these ones I made with 
some trim from Hobby Lobby and it's that ruffle trim so I did that and I did one in black with that same ruffle trim and then I did one with the eyelash trim so you can use anything I mean if it looks good to you use it if you try something and it doesn't look good I mean it's just wire you can just clip you know clip it off and start over so those are the different ones I did but I want to show you real quick how I did the um, the ones using the trim from Hobby Lobby because it's a little bit different the way that I folded it so I cut a piece of trim and this is about three inches okay so then you're gonna f and I singe the end with a lighter just so it doesn't fray so you're gonna fold that in half like that and then get your wire and I put the wire in the middle like this and then pull the ends up I try to get it as centered as possible and then again you're going to just twist that on there and like that clip the one end off okay. like that and then get your bead cap Sometimes it's hard to pull through because the material is so fluffy. So I just get my pliers and pull it through. And, you know, I'm not really crazy about that. But next time I will probably make the, cut the trim a little bit longer. But just to give you an idea of how, you know, you would do that. Looks like a flower, doesn't it? That's pretty. So then just get a bead and I'm just going to use this bead here. Again, put that on there. And then you're just going to do your wire wrapping again. excess and then pinch that little part closed that's open and then there you go so that's another way you can make these bead dangles and again I mean I would you know just look through your stuff and see what kind of trims you have what you think might work and just play around because that's what I do I just you know once I come up with an idea I look for ways to make that same idea a little bit different by using different thing so that's what I came up with and that is that's it for now so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I really do hope you'll give this a try because it's really fun and easy to make and yeah so let me know what you guys think and have a great day bye